also there's also an a money that we used to pay like SRC. We pay SRC 1500. Used to you need to be ready with that money. Another thing that we paid was um how do what do we call NCK. Like it is so sad that here in KMTC we pay NCK Nine over nine thousand, and then right now because I'm done, we're also being told to pay that NCK again. We paid it when we joined nine th nine thousand and something, and right now they're still telling us to pay that money. So you need to be ready with that fifteen hundred for SRC, that nine thousand for NCK, that five thousand for hostel. So you know most people they just pay the fees like forty thousand for the fees for that semester, but they forgot all these other expenses. So you should be ready with money for also these other expenses. <music> So September 12th, 2017, the day I joined KMTC for the first time, for me it feels like it is just yesterday. I can't believe like this September will be four years down the line and it feels like, like that September feels like it is just yesterday, like time has really gone so fast. And uh, there's a lot of things that happened on that day of admission, some of which it was just out of carelessness at the times because I never knew anything. And uh, just that's why I usually like telling this story so that maybe I can help someone with joining so that they don't do the things I did or they do better so that they don't have a tough day. I really had a tough day that day. Whew. Let's go to the story. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lois Odor. And so today I wanted to tell you guys a story and it is about the first day. That is the day I was being admitted to KMTC. So... I remember that day like whew, the previous day was worse than even that day because the previous day is where I messed up everything because from that list they usually say that you're supposed to go and get a vaccine that is for typhoid and hepatitis B I think and I was supposed to go and get it at St. Mary's Hospital because it is so difficult to find it like if you're someone who's joining and you found it like just you can leave it down in the comment section so that someone else can find it because it was so difficult for me to find a place. But still, when I was told to go and get it from St. Mary's Hospital, I still never went there. Because I thought that maybe I'll join college and I'll look for the nearest hospital and I'll just get it. <laughs> Another thing I'm supposed to do, there's this collector that they tell you that you're supposed to, to be, it's supposed to be signed, but I don't know the this DO, the chief, like there's a letter that someone's supposed to be signing. That letter wasn't even signed. Then there's these copies that you're supposed to get like it is photocopy for your certificate your sleep your id and also you remove a copy of the admission letter my id i never ever went to remove those things like i really wasted the previous day and it costed me on the next day because i was busy packing i was busy like after zilema and the best like we could imagine to know that feeling of kunda college so you imagine like hey i mean that can end in like so like I was busy packing my Sunday bear so that Ningare College, Alafu, that is what was on my mind during that time. So I packed all my stuff, I packed my uniform, I packed everything. Then on the next day, we left uh, home at 5.30 in the morning. And mostly for those who came from far, like Kunauta Likwantoka from Sia County, Sia County, like everywhere around Kenya, you know. And for them, they had to travel overnight so that they get in to Nairobi in the morning, then they get to Muranga. But for me, I was in Nairobi, so 5.30 a.m. in the morning, we were already out of the house, so we were heading to town. So, at first, we thought of finding a uh, Uber. But something is that the Uber was expensive because when we checked, it was almost 2,500 to 3,000. And I was like, oh, 3,000, and yet the motor is 200 each. And we were going, me, my mom, and my cousin. So we were like, three of us, it, is, it will be only 600 shillings. So instead of taking the Uber, we just go with the. With the matatu. So when we got to the matatu, we paid the 600 shillings. But something funny is that, you know, like, when you don't know where you are going to, you're usually so confused. Like, we never knew. But when we asked, to direct, to direct kwa zingine zilikuwa za Othaya. So, ni gari Othaya, but sasa juinenda, unapitia muranga, so they, unapanda, then utashuka kwa njia. And akunanga kitu mbaya, kama kupanda gari, nyunda kushuka kwa njia. Because it really gets so stressful. Because every time, you're like, tumefika, conductor, usisa haa, unashuka muranga, usisa. <laughs> it is so stressful, kupanda gari, nye ushuki mwishu, na it is a new place. But anyways, I took one option. But something that I usually do even until today is that if I'm going to somewhere where I'm not sure of Penya Nashukia, I usually take my Google map. 
and I'm usually there like akipiga kona niko na yeye hapo so that when it, when it is almost 5 minutes to that place that I'm going to I can start reminding him like kumbuko na nichukisha kumbuko na nichukisha yeah so tukio kwa hiyo gari ya nini ya ya odhaya there's this guy and he's uh, like right now he's a really good friend of mine Oko. so at that time sisi kwa namjua so he was standing uh, nini hapo kando hiyo gari because the one that we were on I'm always like how what wengi mnyonyo kuna bags nyingi so he had to wait for the other matatu so he was standing there in full school uniform until I make a tie ha huh? and i was like hey, why is he putting on a uniform ah, maybe nikierere 10 minutes later another lady like she i think she's done she was doing mental health <coughs> nursing she came there also putting on full school uniform and for me mimi nakwanga like nervous tension ikiniingia ni hivyo so i was so tense i started telling my mom like i need to put on a uniform like i need to find a place put on a uniform right now like i was so tense and so i can be a uh, there's no need like tusha panda gari so maybe if you get to college and you can and everyone is putting on a uniform you can find a place then change into your uniform like those wali ningizanga attention and i usually tell you until now like why were you even putting on uniform i've seen other students like who are to join this september they're asking like should we be putting on a uniform like no we don't put on a uniform on the admission day because now when i got to college like they were almost the only people who were putting on uniform other people were wearing other people were in home clothes and ngekuwa na kirere singekuinga mbosi sindo wale watu vierere to deliver uniform so we got there so there was this lady who was sitting next to me and uh, she was from Othaya KMTC so when she started talking to me she told me telling me that ah when it's student to mke usijali KMTC tazoya tu nini 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 so when we got to Muranga so this driver alitushikisha place yenye mbali na college because sikuwa anambia like atushikisha place yenye hata unaweza nini tembea tu but pia alitushikisha ilikuwa mbali kiasi na college so when we asked that those border people alafu watu boda boda like everywhere hata si Nairobi peke when you usually ask them like unataka kwenda hii place inside akwambie si mbali sana unaweza tembea ama ni, ni anakudanganya like hiyo place ilikuwa karibu iko anga like yes ni mbali but it is a walking distance instead of just telling us just take this road and take that corner and you'll get there and we ah that place is so far like inabidi mlipe 100 each ni wapeleke because you don't have any option you just pay and akatupeleka until college and finally that morning siko nimekula anything because who eats at 5 am in the morning anyways so i was kind of hungry but we just had to push on at least half the day so when you got to when you got to KMTC Muranga so you were there and they welcomed us and they told us like this is what you are supposed to do you are, you are supposed to go and start from there is all those kind of things so when we were on that car line they were asking for documents like hizo my papers will come to a photocopy that's when i realized si they told a photocopy so i have to again run to town to go and bring the copies so i told my cousin and she can line if you ask so when i got to town Raja to juice say beko happy nikafika say by ingine hapo wao msana ananiambia ati ah machine tu sijui jaribika jana and I'm like kwa ni hii machine ilikuwa ni ngoja tu ndo yaribike so you are supposed to uh, look for a cyber and finally when I got one he did the photocopies and I came back and I was done with that but again when I was in the line I heard this car lady saying that if you don't have that car letter that was supposed to be signed but I don't know the I don't know it was the district officer like that letter that was supposed to be signed if we, if it is not signed they won't accept again mimi huyo so this time round we went with my mom so we went to another there's another office there in Muranga so we went like five of us the five of this of our fellow students so when we got there that guy signed for us quickly quickly and whew, we came back but before that like we really had to struggle because those offices na wanga zimeja so until you convinced that you are a student and this is an emergency it took really it was really tough but at last it was signed and when we went back so unajua every time i'm wasting my time like this line in a pita and i'm going narudishwa nyuma narudishwa nyuma so when we're done with that still in the line Someone told me that um, they are also saying that if you are not vaccinated, like you should be vaccinated and you should come with that card. Me, but what this, what I was not confirming is that yes, when I say you are supposed, but wako manisha that if you don't have it, like out admit you. Me, I was just so paranoid. Like when I had that, again, I'm running again. 
<laughs> to the hospital. So I went to that Muranga district hospital and I was there and I asked the, the, first, the first person I met at the casualty, as I asked him, and he was like, she had hepatitis B, Miss J is scared. Hey, I'm like, damn, where can you use the ligani? And I can be you just go out there in those private hospitals and those private chemists, maybe you can get it from there. When I went to this car chemist, that guy told me like, Hatuna, that's J scared. Like, I'm like, why are these people telling us to get a vaccination that that's J scared? And I walked, I walked to almost three chemists and I told myself like, whew. Let's just give this up. When I went back, I realized that uh, they can still admit you, but you can think about those stuff of getting the vaccine later on. So I completed all the admission process, like you're supposed to pass through the nursing department. You go to, I don't know, the deputy. Like there are so many documents to be signed. Then after we were done with that, now we went to look for a hostel, like a place to stay. So when we got there, there was also still another line, like you're sitting. So I remember there's this car lady, there's this uh, friend of mine, Deborah. I think Deborah still remembers this story. She told me that I've heard that here in Kempisi Muranga, like, kuna ukimu mingi, like, uh, I've never forgotten that. And I was, hey, kai, ukimu, hey, meta staki, meta stai, ongena vijana. <laughs> so when we are done with the hostels, now you're taking to the room that you're supposed to be going to. So when you're being taken to that room, you usually have the SRC, the SRC at the... Can I say the leaders in that college? So the SRC members are the ones who take you to the room that you are assigned to. So I remember that I was assigned this room with other three students. And uh, when I got there, like I was so, that's now the time that you start feeling like you're missing home because my mom had to go and my cousin had to go. And now I'm left alone. And I was just like, wow, finally, now I'm in college. Now I'm in college. So at that time it was almost 5 p.m. You can imagine almost 12 hours. I haven't even tasted any food, not even a sip of water. So we just left our stuff there. We closed the door and then we went to eat, to find something in town to eat. But then something is that some of the students are really confused. And I'd like to say that if you know you want to stay, like you want to rent a house, it's better if you can do a pre-visit so that you can go and find it first so that you don't look desperate. But if you know, like, you ha you don't have anything that is restraining you from staying in the hostel, you should start first start by staying in the hostel. You stay in the hostel maybe during your first year or at least during the first semester, then that's when you can move out. Because trying to find a house in a new place that you've never been to, like, it's another added stress. So for most of those students who you are to join, like, you can always start by staying in the hostel, then that's when you can move out. So we went to town. And ate, we ate, I don't know, it was chips, I remember it was chips, we ate chips. And then when I went back to the hostel, now that's when I, I, I met my friend, so we were there. And at that time, we still even don't know if you can, like, talk to these guys, and are just looking at them, and I think I said, like, and then from that time, we started, like, knowing each other, and you're asking, like, oh, support one, cool, happy. So from that, like, the first week of college, that's when we started looking, like, disparate. I think I ate chips and biscuits like I've never eaten before because you don't know of any hotel. You know, like in the town center, like in the town center, like the, most of the hotels, they are just the ones that sell snacks. But we never knew of easy hotel is a mother, easy hotel is a mother, you know, the chapo marago is. So most of the time we just used to eat chips, biscuit, chips, biscuit. But later on, I think after we started getting used to the other students, they showed us the place where they usually eat. But that was it for the first day, like, it was really a really nice day, yeah, I can say, but it was also really tiresome. And the reason why it was tiresome is because I did not prepare. So you should just prepare yourself, like, have your own plans, like, look at the admission letter, follow all the things that they've told you to do, like, if it is possible for you to do, do it. So for me, like, for the, immune, like for the vaccine, I never got the vaccine. So if you haven't gotten the vaccine, it's usually given in college, like, for me, I think my I was given in college after I think the first semester or something like they made arrangements for those students who are not vaccinated they made arrangements and we had to pay I think it was 2000 and something like the bad thing about not being vaccinated in school is that they're going to eat your money literally it was 2000 and something for us to be vaccinated and uh, after we, after that was done before we started going for classes like they usually make sure that 
you have like this this to let us this admission things that you're supposed to fill in you must fill everything so they still follow you up until you are done with the admission like it is supposed to be done so just make sure like if, if there's something that you can do like things like kutua photocopies those are things that are so simple the time that you are at home you can just get those photocopies things like if you can make those like barrows i don't know if those barrows are still being signed nowadays but if you can do things that you can do before you get there so that you don't look so desperate because there's some people who finished their admission so early and their parents had to go home early but some of us we still had to stay there and keep on going up and down up and down and wasting time so as always you can always get ready and especially if it comes to places where you want to stay if you're not sure about staying in the hostel just make arrangements and you should make arrangements even in the payments because we usually have like um Five thousand for us we used to pay five thousand per semester. You have to be ready with that money, and also other things like I think we also there's also an, a money that we used to pay like SRC. We pay SRC one thousand five hundred. Used to you need to be ready with that money. Another thing that we paid was um, how do what do we call NCK? Like it is so sad that here in KMTC we pay NCK nine th- over nine thousand, and then. Right now, because I'm done, we're also being told to pay that NCK again. We paid it when we joined, 9,000 9, and something. And right now, they're still telling us to pay that money. So you need to be ready with that 1,500 for SRC, that 9,000 for NCK, that 5,000 for hostel. So, you know, most people, they just pay the fees, like 40,000 for the fees for that semester. But they forgot all these other expenses. So you should be ready with money for also these other expenses. So that is it for today. I hope, like, I helped someone somewhere. So... Goodbye and see you on my next video.